Hello guys, if you enjoy this video and want to see more, hit that subscribe button and thumbs this video up. Enjoy. Many of you guys already know who Kitaro is. Kitaro is now facing a jail sentence for the statutory rape of a minor. But let's travel back and figure out how this came to be. Kitaro's real name is Richard King Jr. No association with the doctor. Kitaro was born on September 17, 1987. Kitaro is one of many other pro Smash players from New Jersey and first started playing Smash with Smash Melee in high school. His popularity rose in 2009 and eventually went on to be ranked in top 50 through 2012 to 2015. Although he mained many Smash fighters, notably he was considered one of the best Falco players not only in New Jersey but in the world, ranking sometimes in the top 5 at tournaments. Kitaro's tournament history mostly involved Brawl, Smash for Wii U, and Ultimate. In early 2016, he was signed on by teams such as Counter Logic Gaming to play on their team, and eventually signed on by Siske Anna Esports to be a caster for tournaments. Kitaro's last match career between 2017 to 2020 was all over the place, sometimes ranking in top 10, and then sometimes being ranked top 100s. On July 1st, 2020, prolific members of the Smash community were being outed for crimes of sexual misconduct, one of them being Kataro. On Twitter, a Smash player by the name Shiva came forward and accused Kataro of rape. She mentions that it happened on one summer night in 2018 at Sky Williams Skyhouse, when she was 16 and Kataro was 29. There, she mentions that she wanted to try alcohol and soon was given shots. Shiva and Kataro soon went into the pool to which she was raped by Kataro. Just a few hours later, Kataro did the most unexpected thing anyone would have expected. Kataro confessed in his twit longer that he indeed raped Shiva. Kataro stated he was at the Sky House having a party and requested Shiva to partake in some game practice before a tournament. Shiva showed up to the Sky House and noticed that people were playing a drinking game where if you lose a match, you take a shot. She expressed interest in playing and Kataro letting a 16 year old girl drink because she stated that she had before. At the end, Kataro told her she doesn't have to drink her 4 shots but Shiva did it anyway. Time went on and Kataro mentioned that Shiva started to express flirty actions towards him. They and some other people then went into the pool. Once in the pool, Shiva continued to express flirty actions with Kataro. Shiva put her face up against Kataro, Kataro then kissed her and they started to kiss for a few moments. Kataro then mentions that she grabbed his junk and then put him inside of her to which Kataro didn't stop any further action. He states that this is his fault regardless of conditions of the situation. An online firestorm erupted and soon, Kitaro was dropped from Suskeana Esports, banned from future tournaments, and ghosted himself online. The update on where Kitaro's whereabouts are still processing today. I can hint what his future will most likely be. In California, statutory rape has a statute of limitations of 3 years if it's a felony charge, and 1 year if it's a misdemeanor. Statutory rape can either be a misdemeanor or a felony depending on the severity of the conditions involved. Statutory rape on a misdemeanor charge can be factored in by the age gap between the victim and the offender, the placement of their ages, such as victim being 15 and the offender being 20. That would be considered a misdemeanor. What Kataro has is a felony charge as he was 29 and she was 16, and neither of them were married to one another. The crime happened in 2018 and Shiva came forward in 2020, so it's certain that Kataro will be convicted and charged as he immediately confessed in the statutory rape of a minor. If I have to say, he will be in court and jailed before 2025. So here's my quick two cents into the situation. I believe it's wrong to be physical as a minor or to a minor with someone regardless if both parties are accepting. Kataro confessing to a statutory rape immediately after being outed was something I was not expecting. Guys, this is why we have the 5th and 6th amendment. Kataro immediately confessed to a statutory rape of a minor. Although I sound like he shouldn't have confessed, I am indeed happy to see people confessing to their crimes. Guys, do not invite minors to parties that feature drugs and alcohol. You will be deemed liable. Do not in your life ever take the opportunity on a minor, even if that minor is initiating. Stop, think about it, and think how terrible prison food is. Anyways, that's my two cents. Tell me what you guys think about the whole situation in the comments section below. Will Kataro make a comeback? Should he return to the Smash community? Did Kataro and Nairo trade stories? Thank you guys for watching, subscribe for more videos, and I hope you guys have a good day.